a tattoo kiss I knew you'd haunt all of my what ifs The smell of smoke would hang around this G'day guys, my name is Dave and welcome to another Guitar Zero to Hero song tutorial. In this lesson, I'm going to teach you how to play Cardigan by Taylor Swift. Now for the basics of this song, you'll need your guitar and standard tuning and you will need a capo on the third fret of your guitar. Now if you want to master your chords back to front, then be sure to head over to guitarzerotohero.com to pick up my free guitar ebook. Or if you want to improve any guitar, then sign up to Guitar Zero to Hero Premium, which is my complete step-by-step -step course. Alright, let's jump into the lesson. Alright, so let's start with a strumming pattern that we're going to use basically throughout the whole song and you apply this to every single chord that we're going to play. So the strumming pattern will go something like this. Down, 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 up, up, down, down, up, down, up. Alright, now let's get into the chord progressions. Now there's four chord progressions that you need to learn and they're all very simple. Perhaps the most confusing part of this song is just the order in which they're played and where you play them, but I'll get to that later. So let's start with our verse chord progressions, really nice and easy. We start with a D minor, then we have a G chord, then we have an F. So you can play a full bar chord F like this, or you can play it like this. And this is the way I prefer it. So ring and pinky on the third frets of the fifth and fourth string, middle finger on the second fret of the third, and index finger on the first fret of the second string. And if you can, get your thumb and hit the first fret of the sixth string, like that. If you can't get your thumb over the top to hit that bass note, that's okay. Just focus on the middle four strings and at least have that sixth string muted. But if you can get that thumb in, then that's ideal. And then we're gonna go back to a G. So we're gonna play that strumming pattern once for each chord and it will sound like this. So that's the verse and next we move on to the chorus chord progression and it's identical to the verse except for our first chord we're playing a C chord instead of a D minor. So the chorus chords will sound like this. Now the next chord progression that we're going to learn is the post chorus. Now this post chorus chord progression only gets played after the second chorus and at the very end of the song. So we're going to start with an F and then we're going to go to an A minor and then C and back to F. So the post chorus chord progression sounds like this. Now finally the last chord progression that we need to learn is the bridge chord progression which is F, A minor, G and F. So it's the same as the post chorus except we swap out the C for a G. So the bridge. So those are the four chord progressions that we need to learn. Now in terms of structure, this is how the song goes. So we have the verse, and then we have the chorus chord progression, and then we go back to the verse. And then we have the second chorus, and then after the second chorus, we play the post-chorus chord progression. After the post-chorus, we have the bridge, and then we go into our final chorus, which is just played again and again until she sings the line, come back to me. And then that's when she goes back into the verse one more time. And then we end the song with the post chorus. So that's the structure, but if you're confused, then follow along with my playthrough. So now I'll be doing a full playthrough of the song and I'll have some vocals on top for some context. A big thanks to my friend Amanda for lending her wonderful vocals to this playthrough. Feel free to play this back as many times as you'd like to, to practice, play along to, and see how you go.
Thanks so much for watching. If you've enjoyed this lesson, then I know you'll absolutely love these other lessons too. So hit the link here, or if you wanna grab a copy of my free guitar ebook, then head over to guitarzerotohero.com or click the link here. Thanks so much, and I'll see you guys next time on Guitar Zero to Hero. Cheers.